Good evening, Internet. Hope that you are doing well. We are back for another night of Strange and Scary Games. This time we're doing Midnight Scenes from the Woods. I've played the other Octavi Navarro Midnight Scenes games. Um, this one was released in 2023, uh, so I never got the chance to play it. There's also another one after that, so I'll go in and play that one as well. Um, and then we should be all caught up on the Midnight Scenes games. So... Seems fine. Hi there. You were in one of the other games, weren't you? Elijah. 18 years old, his life will change forever with the arrival of a new patient at Fernwood Creek Center. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. The mother lion keeps her cubs in the den for their protection while she patrols the area. She'll confront any animal she deems a threat to her offspring, often fiercely and risking her own life if it comes to it. According to the latest information from the police, a neighbor found the missing boy early in the morning. A decade of uncertainty and pain ends with Oliver back in his parents' arms. We are really pleased to have found the boy safe and sound. It gives us hope we'll find his sister Tina alive too. Oliver and his older sister Tina were kidnapped and dragged into the woods at night while their parents were away. Their babysitter was also taken to the forest and brutally murdered. She probably tried to resist. Both children have been missing for nearly 10 years. All we want now is to find Tina so we can be a whole family again. Was that the, um, the nanny? Can't remember. It's been too long since I played these. According to medical sources, the boy is weak but in stable condition. A family spokesperson told the press that Oliver will be transferred to a psychiatric center for young people after his recovery. We hope to make his transition back to the real world much easier this way, the spokesperson said. In other news, Fernwood Creek Mental Health Center for Youth. Tell me, Elijah, how are you doing? We're all devastated by what happened yesterday. It's horrible. I hope the police finds the answers we're all looking for. But meanwhile, I'm very concerned about how, the, how all this will be affecting our patients' emotional states. Tell me, have you been able to sleep? Are you having any difficulty controlling your anxiety? Why don't you cut to the chase and ask me what you really want to know? What do you mean? I mean Oliver, of course. You want to know if he had anything to do with what happened? 
What? That's not what I'm asking. I must admit, though, that I'm worried about him. I want to make sure he receives the care he needs, but he won't talk to me yet. You are the only one he communicates to, so I could use some help with that. What do you want to know? Why don't you tell me about your relationship with him? There's not much to tell, really. You might remember he arrived during one of our sessions. At first, I didn't know anything about who he was or what had happened to him. So, uh, one early criticism is that that should be the frame, is uh, Dr. Elijah and... Uh, the patient having their session uh, and then it should jump to the news reports because then we'll we'll know um, what the context is for Oliver arriving at the psychiatric a new boy is here another forgotten soul with a family too busy to care for him tell me how does this new arrival make you feel I don't know. I don't like change. He might be even worse than the others. There are plenty of nice people here. I know some of the kids here can be difficult. Is there something specific that I should know? Nah. Everything is perfect and rosy. Excuse me. Yes? Sure. No problem. I'll be there right away. Come with me to Dr. Green's office. We're going to meet your new mate. I can't contain my excitement. Wait and click to move. Degree in psychiatry from the University of Barcelona. Where the hell is that? When the sun goes down in southern Barcelona. That's a fancy car. Another rich kid, apparently. This thing contains our darkest secrets. It needs to be destroyed. Al has a peculiar taste. It's a beautiful day outside. Inside, though. They don't fool me. No therapist here has ever read this declaration. Not now. I was waiting for me in Dr. Green's office. Same old inspirational quotes bullshit. Not now. Not now. Tom Crawford, 17 years old, his blonde hair shone like, a, like the sun, but everyone who touched it was condemned to eternal darkness. Good morning, R2-D2. Peter told Martin, every night my mother tucks me into bed and kisses me on the cheek. Weird thing is, she died last year. I can see the garden fountain from here. It's kind of inspiring. here oh here you are mr. and mrs. Darnell Oliver this is Al Henderson he'll supervise Oliver's therapy Al is one of the best psychiatrists in the state oh please sit down it's been a pleasure to meet you And looks like Elijah, our little Stephen King, is also joining us. He's always carrying his notebook around, writing short horror stories. Just sketches of stories. Nothing serious. Come on, don't be modest. I read a couple of your tales and I couldn't sleep that night. I 
hope you don't mind me taking a picture of your son. It's a little tradition we have with newcomers. It symbolizes the start of their recovery. Elijah, do you mind? My pleasure. This camera is amazing. Not like the shitty ones we use in the photography workshop. Haha, uh -huh. Elijah and his sharp wit. I do that. Okay, there we go. Say Gouda. Uh -huh. Perfect. We'll leave you a copy. Oh, wrong doctor. Perfect. We'll leave you a copy in your mailbox in a few days. And now, are you ready to discover your new home? Elijah, sweetheart, why don't you give Oliver a tour around the premises while we finish the paperwork? Everything will be fine, my dear. In a few weeks, you'll feel much better and finally come home. We love you, son. I could tell that El Oliver was kind of different right away. What do you mean? He didn't say a word. He just observed his surroundings very carefully. I also found him fidgety. In any case, I took my tour guide duty very seriously and I praised the center every chance I got. Hi, as you heard, my name's Elijah and I'm gonna be one of your mates here. Come on, follow me. Welcome to Fernwood Creek, mental health center for the youth, yada, yada, yada. As you can see, it's one of those old school boys only places. To be honest, this place isn't that bad. Just stay away from the bullies and you'll be mostly fine. I've been here a couple months, courtesy of a panic disorder that's getting uglier every passing day. What about you? Why are they locking you up here? Okay, don't worry. You don't know how to answer if you don't want. Come on, I'll show you where everything is. Father Michael, the founder of the place posing with his prisoners. They'll put your mail in here, after some scrutiny from the supervisors, of course. This is Miss Murphy, our mascot. Fancy centers have meadows with horses. Here we have a stupid goose. Honk. Go back to your forest, Mowgli. Yeah, run, yeah, run, you idiots. You'll get used to it. I better show them everything in the lobby for, before leaving. What else is there to show them? Joe Mighty Fingers Gonzalez will retire in a month. This place will crumble to dust without him. You'll find all the information about mandatory activities here. If you're like me, you'd rather stay in your bed than attending, but they won't let you. Shall we continue the tour? Then I showed Oliver around the garden. Everyone was giving him suspicious looks. At the time, I didn't know his face was in the news. All this nonsense about Oliver and his connection to what's been going on. It's spread since minute one. The garden is my favorite place. I can sit alone here and write for hours. We... Oliver? Where's he going now? Leo bored his listeners to death with his talking. The day came when he was the only person left alive on Earth. 
Mark was an overthinker. His skull, too small to house his hyperactive brain, exploded, killing everyone around. Better go find Oliver. Uh, yes. This is our giant oak. Do you like trees? How did you do that? You just touched it and the birds went crazy. Don't tell me if you don't want to, but it was fucking weird. Okay? Don't do it again. After our walk around the garden, I showed him the cafeteria and the workshop class, and we ended up in the bedroom area. We had an unpleasant encounter there. Let me guess. Aiden and Theo? Who else? I'm gonna do something real quick. Try that. These are our bedrooms. Oh shit, here comes those two. Hey look, it's Mary Shelley with her new girlfriend. You must be the new guy, right? The star of the moment. Welcome to the Hotel of Fools. We were fortunate though. Aiden just shook our hands politely and left. Hey, new guy. Try not to spend too much time with Princess Ellie here. You'll end up getting AIDS. Hee <laughs> hee. Gross. Those assholes are Aiden and Theo. I wouldn't get too close if I were you. Especially Aiden. He was involved in a violent hate group and spent some time in jail for beating up an African-American couple. The girl lost an eye. His father is running for governor. He's the center's biggest benefactor. It's campaign time, so he locked Aiden here to avoid any untimely embarrassment. The other guy, Theo, is an enigma, but he's fucking scary. When his poor mother tried to escape from her abusive marriage, she was stabbed to death. By Theo himself, according to the police. They didn't find enough evidence against him to convict, though. He was nine years old. Shall we continue the tour? Here's the bathroom. Toilet, showers, you know, usual stuff. I always shower at night when no one's here. It's not allowed, but the caretakers turn a blind eye. Well, our tour ends here. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me, which bedroom were you assigned? Room 9? Come on, I'll show you the way. Here it is. I'm in bedroom three. If you need anything, just... <sighs> What's that noise? It came from inside. You got a poltergeist? I'm fine. Just leave. Please. I don't want anyone to see you. Who the hell is he talking to? This guy's going to be quite an inspiration. Okay, so what happened the next day? Like every Monday, it started with the distribution of our weekly tasks. 
I was assigned to Miss Murphy's care, which Aiden found especially funny. Enjoy wiping the goose's ass, dickhead. At least she's a girl, so we don't have to worry about you doing anything weird to her. Asshole. Anyway, it's time for Miss Murphy's walk. I should go get her. One less raven. Theo has a horror story of his own. He's the stuff nightmares are made of. I'm gonna use this on you. Don't panic, okay? Ready. Let's go breathe some fresh air, little one. Here we are, your little slice of paradise. Do you fancy a dip in the fountain? Enjoy, bring out your inner swan. Oops. You had enough? Wow. E hearts E. Love is in the air. Find the carved message. Ouch. Showers, 4 p.m. Well, well, well. Michael's older sister drowned in the lake, but she was back home in time to have tea with the family. Looks like someone's adding an extra to their meds. Hazelnuts, my favorite. Their hands intertwine. Only one would be left standing. Ben liked to talk and talk until one night his cat ate his tongue. His house was silent forevermore. Please, go. Leave me alone. Uh, hello? Are you praying? During my short walk with Miss Murphy, I found Oliver gawking at the garden's oak tree. Do you know why? Some idiots said they saw him making offerings to the tree, like a ritual thing. Others said he summoned all those damn ravens invading the garden. I think he just enjoys the contact with nature. Uh, you've grown fond of the tree, huh? It's very, very old. Tyrannosaurus probably used it as a butt-scratcher. Fine. I'll leave you to it. Weirdo. It smells... exotic. That's Grace singing. Since I was already in the garden, I took the opportunity to have a nice chat with Grace. Grace? She's a patient, uh, patient at the Watson Center. There's a drain pipe in the wall that connects both gardens, and we use it to talk from time to time. Boys, nut house, calling girls, nut house. 
Hey, Grace, can you hear me? Elijah, how's everything? Not too bad. No one ducked my head in the toilet today. Glad to hear. And I made a new friend. You mean the duck? She's a goose. And no, there's this new patient, Oliver. He's so shy and out of his element. I empathize with him. Is he handsome? Do you like him? Don't start with that. Besides, probably prefers, you know, the types on your side of the wall. Got it. Hey, I need to go now. I'm late for the theater workshop. Enjoy. Huh? Am I going crazy or was this root not here before? I know nothing about trees, but I doubt they'll, they grow this fast. Stupid ravens. Are they watching me? Quoth the raven, nevermore. Well, Miss Murphy, I hope you enjoyed your little walk. Let's get your corner ready. You need some fresh water, food, and I'll puff up your sleeping pillow too. Water check. Food check. Sleeping pillow puffed up check. Here you go. You're the best, you know. We're all cool in your eyes. See you in a bit, miss. And so it was time for dinner. I sat down with Eric, like I always do. Eric is your closest friend here, isn't he? Yeah, we get along really well. That night, though, he seemed kind of weird and touchy. I don't think he likes Oliver at all. All patients, dinner is served. Enjoy your meal. What should I choose? Hmm. I'll get bacon and eggs. Some of the uh, the little uh, sauce in this game, uh, it's a bit out of place, I would say. Hey, Eric, may I? Sure. Where else would you sit? Do you hear this? What should I hear? My nose. I won't stop whistling. My brother broke my septum when I was six, and that sounds like I have a flute when I have a dry nose. It's fucking annoying. I didn't know you had a brother. Why would you? You never asked me about my life outside the center. I'm just someone you hang out with when you run out of options. Now it turns out that you do have other options. Very dangerous ones, I must say. What are you talking about? A newbie. Don't you know who he is? He's the guy who got kidnapped with his sister near the lake when they were kids. Oh, I remember that case. How? My, uh, wow. My parents turned our house into a fortress after that. The news said they found him in the forest two weeks ago. He had been missing for 10 years. Really? I had no idea. Poor Oliver. You need to be careful with him. That guy is a ticking time bomb. 
People with trauma like that end up being ex-murderers. No exceptions. Oh, shut up. Look, speak of the devil. Hey, Oliver, you can sit here with us if you want. Shh. Are you crazy? An apple and a handful of walnuts? That's all you're going to eat? Here, take my eggs. I'll go get another plate. Come on, have this. You know what they say. Happy tummy, happy mind. Don't be shy, I haven't touched it. Uh, okay. Sorry. I'll leave you alone. I was just trying to be nice. What the hell was that? Of course, the rumor that Oliver caused the blackout was on the tip of everyone's tongue that night. Little Birdie told me he got scared when it happened. Maybe you believe those rumors after all. I'm an adult, rational person. If I believe that kind of thing, I wouldn't need to write horror stories. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. If I'm not mistaken, that was the night you had the bad anxiety attack in the bathroom, right? Yeah. That's why I don't like you to shower alone at night. Okay, Mom. Here we go, Elijah. You can do it. Come on. I can't go one more day without showering. I'm watching you. Oliver, you scared me. I see you like to shower at night too. It's way quieter, that's for sure. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. You forgot your shampoo bottle. Okay, as you wish. No way. I only moisturize my hair with grapeseed extract. Are we in Silent Hill now? Hello? Is that you, Oliver? What? Hey kid, you okay? I, I can't breathe. Hey, hey, calm down. Let's do this together. You know the drill. Take a deep breath, hold it for three seconds, and let it out. Come on, let's do it. First, take a deep breath. <gasps> Great. 
great. Now hold it. <gasps> Count to three. Perfect. Now breathe out. See? You can breathe now. You're fine. A nightmare. Survive the bathroom. Was there a chance we could have died there? Are you ready to talk about what happened the night in the bathroom? What could possibly have scared you so much? Okay. I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something. There was someone else in the bathroom, but I don't think they were from the center. What do you mean? An intruder? Oh no. We keep ha having these power outages. This place is falling to pieces. Even the security cameras aren't working properly. Great. There will be no evidence when I murder Aiden one day. Too soon to make jokes about murder, Elijah. Too soon. Anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt. What happened the next morning? Oh, I started the day with mo the most exciting activity. Today's mail day. No one ever writes me, but I should take a look at my mailbox anyway. What the hell happened here? $20? Tempting. What's all this? They put all of Oliver's mail in my mailbox. I don't want to snoop, but it was in my space, so... My dearest Oliver, can't begin to express how happy I am that you're back home safe and sound. It's been rough here without you. Now I live with my aunt and uncle in Seattle, as my cystic fibrosis hasn't killed me yet. I've missed you, man. Thomas. And here's the photo I took of Oliver on his first day. What the hell is that shadow behind him? Looks like that thing I saw in the bathroom. Okay. Don't freak out. Surely a glitch. Find the shadow in the picture. Letter from Michael's parents. I'm not going to snoop. Whoa. These are original 1982 Midnight Zombies cards. They must be worth a fortune today. I'll put all of her stuff in his mailbox. Hey you, be careful with those mailboxes. They're cursed. Cursed? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. Logan's a bit a little upset. Well, he's bleeding all over the floor, so yeah. With good reason. I was delivering some letters into the newbie's mailbox this morning when suddenly... The light started blinking and I got these scratches on my hand out of nowhere. Oh, man. It hurts so much. What's more likely, that an evil mailbox attacked you or that you got over-medicated and did this to yourself? I told you! Nothing happened until I touched the newbie's mailbox. He has supernatural powers. Everybody knows. For fuck's sake. I'm leaving. The ornithology workshop starts in three minutes. Oh, shit. Is it that late? As you can see, not even the mailboxes are immune to Oliver's dark arts. So it seems. What happened then? Then I found poor Joe struggling with the invading roots from the Big Oak, so I helped him. Joe, huh? Tell me what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible. Hey, kid, come give old Joe a hand, will you? Branches and more branches. I can't see a thing. Look at this mess. All the equipment is smashed to pieces. The roots of that damn tree are growing at an unbelievable rate. I've never seen anything like it. Too many bizarre things are happening around here lately. What kind of things? Well, things. 
I smell something murky in the air since... Since the new boy came in, right? Did you notice it too? I have a nose for evil stuff. And that kid... I'm sorry, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. I don't want to scare you. Come on, we have a lot of work to do here. Okay, put these roots in the wheelbarrow in the corner. Wheelbarrow first. Wheel axle is broken. You're a clever kid, you'll figure it out. Can't unscrew it with my bare hands. you find a way to fix the wheelbarrow? I might have you. Do you have a screwdriver? I'm Joe, the maintenance wizard. Of course I have a screwdriver. Here. Use the screwdriver to remove it. Okay, screw out. Screw. Screw connects to the wheel's axle. It fits perfectly. And finally use the wheelbarrow. Good work, kid. I knew you'd make it. Fix it. Fix the wheelbarrow. Great. Now be a sweetie and throw the roots in the dumpster out in the garden, will you? I'll leave the wheelbarrow here. Joe will pick it up later. Thanks again for the help, kid. Now move away. I'm gonna leave this bastard all skinned. Uh, so let's focus on what happened that evening. <sighs> that evening. Dinner started well, but as you know, it ended in tragedy. To all our dinner is... What should I get for dinner? I'll get the hot dog. Yum, 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 yum. Better leave him alone. Thanks for joining me. I don't like eating alone. You like hot dog, huh? Here, all yours. I'm not hungry. Oh, walnuts? Thanks. Hey, Oliver. I need to ask you something. The other night, when we met in the showers, did you see or hear anything strange? I know it sounds crazy, but I saw something behind me. Like a shadow. I can't describe it, but it was very creepy. Did she... Did she hurt you? Hey, wait. <sighs> Goodbye, weirdo. Well, well, well. Looks like Mowgli likes you. Maybe because I'm the only one who pays him any attention? Too much attention, I'd say. I just want to help. Everyone here avoids him like the plague. Because he's fucking creepy. 
He walks around like a ghost, only muttering things to his invisible friend. And to think I sleep in the next room. Gives me the chills. And greetings. How kind of the center to set aside a table for oppressed minorities. Shouldn't you be selling drugs to little kids? And you waving stupid colored flags? Hee hee. What do you want, Aiden? I just came to warn you that poor Miss Murphy is look is not looking too fresh. A little birdie told me that the poor thing is battling for her life right now. Honk honk. What are you talking about? Did something happen to Miss Murphy? How would I know? She's your responsibility, not mine. Hee hee. What the hell was that? No idea, but I better go check on Miss Murphy. <gasps> Miss Murphy. Oh no. What have they done to you? God, they pushed a pen into her mouth. They suffocated her. No. Please, come on, little one. Breathe. <laughs> Elijah, what the hell happened here? They killed her. It was Aiden. Oh, fuck. I don't think the staff is supposed to say, oh, fuck. I had nothing to do with this. He killed her. What? I'd never hurt Miss Murphy. My parents donated her to the center. She was my family, you monster. Quiet, both of you. I've heard enough. Animal abuse is a very serious offense that won't go unpunished. I'm very seriously considering your immediate expulsion from the center. You can't do that. This brat was the one responsible for the goose. Shut up, Aiden. This is bullshit. Why are you accusing me of this? My father will get your ass fired. Get out of my sight. And you too. I said all I had to say. You fucking murderer. I'm gonna... Oh. This was just the beginning, you hear me? Get out of my way, meatball. Are you okay, mate? I can't talk. It hurts too much. Come on, I'll take you to your room. Looks like Eric is by your side in rough times. Looks like Eric is but Voices. Looks like Eric is always by your side in rough times. Do you mind if I ask if it's more than just a friendship? Are you a gossip journalist now? The only love Eric and I share is our love of video games and movies. That's all. You think Eric feels the same? I hope so. I wouldn't want to hurt him. I don't understand why Aiden is so obsessed with you. I mean, he's a dick to everyone, but killing Miss Murphy just to hurt you? Yeah, I'm his favorite target. The rumor that I like boys spread like wildfire ever since the moment I walked in. Aiden is not the only one who'd like to see me dead for that, but he's the worst by far. I'm afraid one day he's going to hurt me real bad. I won't let him do that. I swear if he touches you again, I'll break every bone in his body and throw his corpse in the lake. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. My stomach. Sorry. It's so unfair that we can't be open about our feelings. I mean... I just want you to know that you can talk to me if you need to. Hey, hey, don't you know how to, how, uh, don't you know how to knock? Now isn't a good time. Elijah's sick. It's all right. Hey, Oliver, what's up? What do you want? To give him this? Fine. Very kind of you. Now let him rest, okay? You'll see him tomorrow. Bye. What's that? 
twig doll? This is very creepy. I'd throw it away if I was you. Look at it. It's like something out of one of your horror stories. Hmm. It looked like a simple doll, but it was much more than that. When Aiden finally managed to murder Elijah, the twig doll turned into a giant beast hungry for revenge. It eviscerated Aiden and ate his rotten heart. The end. Lovely. Too bad the bad guys always win in real life. Come on, lay down. You should rest. What would you do without me? Are you sure you're not dating? I thought I'd spend the night mourning Miss Murphy, but I was exhausted. I slept like a log. That was the fateful night, right? Yeah, the reason for all these therapy sessions and double medication. I knew something horrible had happened the moment I woke up. What's going on out there? What's going on? No idea. Looks like something happened in the garden. I better go see. Rest in peace, Miss Murphy. I miss you so much. What the hell? What's going on here? Did Joe get murdered by the tree? Oh my god, it's Joe. Everyone inside immediately. Lock yourselves in your rooms and don't come out on un- don't come out until further notice. I said everyone in. Now. That's all. I just stayed in my bedroom until the police arrived that afternoon. You didn't talk to anyone else that morning. Nope. I better lock myself in my room. Oliver. Do you know anything about what happened? Come on. I'm not stupid. I saw the tree roots grab your arm, the same way they grabbed Joe. So many horrible things have happened since you arrived. You have to tell me what's going on. Hey! It's your sister, isn't it? What the hell? Is the tree trying to get you? Oliver, please say something. What happened to Joe? Mother killed him. Not the sister. Mother? What are you talking about? Are you sure you want to know? It's not pretty. Whatever it is, I can handle it. Just tell me. It all started ten years ago in the forest across the lake. It was autumn. Follow me. I was eight years old. My sister Tina had just turned ten. Our parents went on a work trip and left us with the babysitter. We convinced her to go play in the woods. But Mother, the ruler of the forest, murdered her so she could kidnap us. The ruler of the forest? She's a powerful spirit that roams the woods and controls everything that grows here with her dark arts. For some reason, she thought we belonged to her. This was our home for 10 years. Oh God, did she keep you in a cave all that time?
Oliver, wake up. I boiled more water for you. That's Tina, my sister. It's very cold here. You're burning up. This fever doesn't look good, Ollie. I have to take you to the hospital now. But we can't. She won't let us. If we don't escape today, you'll die. No. If we try, Mother will kill us both. I know, but what else can we do? We can't let you die here. You need real medicine, not just roots and hot water. What are you going to do? Create a distraction. Get ready. Here. Take care of little Tina. But I made her for you. She's your lucky charm. Please, keep it. If I don't make it, little Tina will always be by your side protecting you. I love you, Ollie. No, Tina, she'll kill you. Is that the twig doll you gave me? Oh my god. What's that thing? She's the heart of the forest. I call her mother. Tina liked to call her nanny because she'd hum a lullaby for us every night that our first nanny used to sing. That's creepy. She also protected us from the cold and fed us small animals. She took care of us in some way. I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you, but I can't let Oliver die. You leave me no choice. Hang on, Oliver. I'm going to get you out of here. No. Tina! No! Run. Don't let her catch you. Oh my god. That was Mother's last desperate move. The fire weakened her enough that I could escape, but now she's coming back for me. This is the place where they found you, isn't it? Yes. How is it possible that no one found you in that cave? The forest kept us hidden. Why didn't you try to escape from that thing before? We did. Once. As punishment, she threw us in a dark hole and kept us there for weeks. Tina broke her leg in the fall. 
She spent days crying in pain. Damn. We learned not to disobey her. Things got better from then on. She took care of us like a mother, more or less. I'm so sorry, Oliver. I can't even imagine what you went through. Your sister wanted to protect you. It wasn't your fault that thing killed her. But I don't understand. Thank you for listening to my story. I know it's very hard to believe. Yeah, it's completely nuts. But with all the weird shit that's been happening, I'm ready to believe anything that sounds like an explanation. Unfortunately, you can't tell anyone else unless you want to end up under police suspicion. We need to keep it to ourselves. There's no other choice. Memories. Listen to Oliver's story. So, you just stayed in your bedroom, writing? Yep. And you didn't talk to anyone? Nope. Well then, I guess that brings us to the end of the story. I told you there wasn't much to tell. No, no. Thanks for telling me about your experience with Oliver. I feel like I know him a bit better now. Let me stress once again that I don't suspect him or any other patient. Let's just let the police do their job. Shall we continue our session tomorrow? I'll check my schedule. Not again. I can't breathe. Okay, calm down, Elijah. Just breathe normally. It'll go away soon. We got scared by the lightning, that's all. Scary. Just like the, st the storm outside. Lucky kitty. What the? Oliver? What is he doing now? It's pouring. What are you up to, Oliver? I'm already risking enough defending you to Al. You'll get me in trouble. I must go get Oliver before someone sees him. Shit! I can't let him see me. I better be careful. Guard is leaving. I won't have to worry about him anymore. Hide and seek. Avoid the security guard. How the hell did Oliver manage to get out? The door to the garden is locked at night. Dr. Green probably keeps a key in her office. I should go take a look. If someone catches me here. I'll get expelled for good. What do we have here? Can't blame her. Hot and Lusty, Club for Singles. Dr. Green's life is much more exciting than I thought. I guess this solves the mystery of the red stains on Al's neck. Here it is, the garden door key.
Oliver's mother? Is that you? Damn. This is great for my anxiety problems. Damn it, Oliver. This is ridiculous. I know what you're going through, but this is going to end badly for both of us. Ugh. Puddles and more puddles. Oliver, what are you doing here? Come on, let's go back inside. Oliver? It's gone. I think Mother might be dead. I no longer feel her presence. What? How is that possible? She barely had any strength left after the fire. I think the effort of killing Joe is too much for her. But that's a good thing, isn't it? You're safe from her at last. We all are. I guess. It's too bad Joe had to die, but I'm glad you can put that nightmare behind you. Come on, let's get back inside or we'll catch cold. Are you serious, Elijah? With him? I'm an idiot. Fucking idiot. Come on. Lay down. You need to rest. What you and your sister went through is very fucked up. A true horror story. But you're alive, and that hor horrible creature is gone for good. Now we just need to write a good sequel for you. You did well telling us. On behalf of our cause, we thank you for your collaboration. You're a good soldier. All clear. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Who wrote this shit? Oh no, I better get a sponge and clean it up before anyone sees it. We've had some banger tracks tonight. Here we go, Elijah. Shower time. Come on. Don't panic. Mother's dead, which means no more creepy creatures in the mirror. Mother's dead, but sister's there. What 
is this chair doing here? Hello, sugar. Thanks for joining the party. Aiden? And Eric? What the hell is this? We organized a therapy session for you. We're going to be your psychiatrist tonight. I... Shall we begin then? Sit down, please. I said sit down. Look, I don't want any trouble, okay? I'm leaving. No, honey. We aren't done here. Please, guys. I think he gets the message. Let's leave him alone. Shut up, lard boy. Sit in this chair right now, or I swear I'll gouge your eyes out. Please, now. I knew from the day I saw your face that you'd end up turning this place into your own private harem. So many victims for you to choose from. So many vulnerable kids to spread your sickness to. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. This guy here told me you banged the weirdo last night. Is he lying? Maybe we should cut off his tongue. I, I just saw them walking into his bedroom, holding hands. And that they spent the night together. That's incriminating enough, don't you think? You sickos keep forcing your aberrant ways into our schools and institutions, declaring wars on the declaring war on this country's values. But we aren't going to make it easy for you. We are soldiers willing to get our hands dirty. We will win in the end. Tiny battle by tiny battle. You're fucking crazy. Do you know what this is? You can call it doctor. A few sparks and it will cure your queerness instantly. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna sting quite a bit. No. Please. Oh, don't be like that. We're doing this for your own good. You'll thank us later. I'm sorry, Elijah. I didn't know they would do any of this. Yes, you did. Ready. No. <laughs> Tina? What's wrong? Oh, no. Oh. I hoped he'd last a little longer. I used the lowest setting, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You killed him. Murders. Stop crying, idiot. That thing can't kill you. It'll be fine. Well, well, well. Look who's joining the party. What? What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. You don't understand. You shouldn't have done this. She's here. One month later. I'd like to thank you on behalf of Fernwood Creek Center for your, the trust you placed in our professionals. Given last month's horrible events, most of our patients left us. Who can blame them? Oliver insisted on staying, right? Oliver insisted on staying, right, honey? Every day I pray for those poor kids who were attacked in the bathroom. Aiden and Thea, right? What kind of monster could do something like that to two innocent kids? 
Will they be okay? Well. We're working day and night to catch the intruder who committed those horrific crimes. But today I'm here because of Tina. We still need to find her. Oliver, are you ready to come with me to the police station and give us more details about what happened in the forest? I guess. Goodbye, Oliver, and best of luck. Please, don't be a stranger. We'll miss you. Hey, buddy. Welcome to the real world. Aww. Thanks for coming. This is Grace. She was one of our neighbors at Watson. You probably heard her sing through the garden pipe. Nice to finally meet you, Oliver. Well, I just talks a lot about you. He says you're a great source of inspiration for his horror stories. Guess I am. I hope your new life is full of joy and promise. You don't deserve any less. Anyway, I'll leave you two to catch up. Uh, what's the police doing here? They just want to ask me about Tina. I'll be fine. They believe that Aiden and Theo's attack was the work of a random intruder. I can still hear her screams in my nightmares. It was horrible. Yeah. Oh. I hoped he'd last a little longer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Killed him. Murderers. Stop crying, idiot. That thing can't kill you. He'll be fine. Well, well, well. Look who's joining the party. What? What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. We're just having some fun. You don't understand. You... You shouldn't have done this. She's here. What the fuck are you talking about, weirdo? What the hell? No, please. Tina, no. Stop. Don't kill him. Please. Come on. Leave him. If you kill him, it will ruin everything. I'll have to go back to the woods and hide. Are you okay? Can you talk? The shadow. I've seen it. It wasn't my imagination. But I don't get it. The creature is Tina? What's left of her? She tries to protect me and the people who matter to me. I'll tell you more later. We need to go now. Oh my god, are they dead? I'm not sure. Please, don't hurt me. They tricked me. I didn't want them to hurt you. Shut up and go back to your room. Say a word about what you saw here. I won't say anything. I promise. Good. I've never seen so much blood in my life. They shouldn't have hurt you. They made Tina angry. I still have Tina's twig doll. Keep it. It may bring you some good luck. Is she still around? Yeah. I can still recognize my sister's, sister's, 
Cisterns. Why is there an N in that word? I can still recognize my sister's stubbornness in that creature. I'm so glad to see you again. I missed you. Me too. May I ask you something? That girl, Grace, is she your... I mean, she and you... Oh. No. No way. No, no, no. She's just a friend. That's all. Really? Okay. Hey, kid. Are you coming? Here's my number. Call me sometime, okay? I will. We have to write the sequel for my life story, remember? I want a perfect ending. See you soon, Oliver. Written by Octavio Navarro and Susanna Grinnell. Growing up together. National Book Award. Baby Tina. Uh, so I like that a lot. Um, I think that it was a little bit more, uh, the writing was a little bit more. Um, interesting than the first couple games. I remember the first couple games were made in like an adventure engine and they, um, they weren't bad. They were just kind of short and uh, self-contained. Um, this one kind of seemed to be the spiritual successor to the nanny. Uh, I don't know if there's like a direct through line from the events in the nanny to from the woods, uh, but it seemed to be kind of like uh, playing with the same ideas. Um, I did like the, uh, the kind of social issues that it brought up I think it handled kind of the, the boys school versus the girls school all of that kind of very, um, I think that it handled it very respectfully, uh, which I liked. Um, there was, uh, there were some parts where Elijah kind of talked about the people around the, um, institution. Uh, kind of disrespectfully, which if you're trying to bring up social issues, should probably be more respectful towards the people who are suffering, especially in an institu institution. Um, I know that there's a big movement here in Washington to shut the last institute uh, because of human rights and uh, the way that they've treated people with disabilities in the past. Um, there's a little bit of anachronism uh, I know that uh, Elijah suffers from kind of a um, uh, anxiety problem. Uh, I don't know if the time frame for that kind of works for people with anxiety problems being institutionalized. Uh, but given all of the suspension of disbelief, I think that it was a really cool game. Um, sorry. Uh, all of that to say that uh, I liked it. I liked the writing. I think that you're improving with your writing. 
Um, one criticism that I had was the, the time jumps, the back and forth. Uh, the one at the beginning where he says that he didn't know anything about Oliver, uh, it should then jump to like the newscaster, uh, the news reports about Oliver being found. Um, cause we get the news reports about Oliver being found first, and then we get introduced to our, our, uh, uh, focus character. Uh, we should get introduced to our focus char- character and then get the news reports about Oliver. Uh, and then at the end where it does the, the jump forward a month and then do the flashback, there didn't really seem to be a need for that. Um, it is kind of clever, but it, it doesn't really add anything. I don't think to the end. Maybe other people disagree with me. Uh, I just felt like that that one time jump a month forward and then the flashback was a little bit necessary. Uh, You could have done everything from that night in that one scene. Uh, The sister grabbing uh, both the the bullies, uh, knocking them out, uh, leaving them, and then crawling back into the vent. That could have been part of the original scene. It didn't need to be its own flashback. Uh, but other than that, I think that you're doing really well. I think that you're improving both as a, a game maker and as a writer. I'm really excited for the next one. And we still got one achievement. Uh, find the mysterious ad. All right. I am hungry. I'm going to go get some food. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for another night of strange and scary games. Uh, I see you in the next video. I hope that you have a good night.